Another blow for a longtime Austin business that's been struggling to stay afloat. Keg's Aunt Jacqueline Powell takes us to Now's Enfield Drug on West Lynn Street, where the owners are trying to help investigators solve a case of theft that cuts deep. This place, we've been through ups and downs. Despite financial woes and waning business during the pandemic, the owners of Now's Enfield Drug work hard to keep the place looking like it did when it opened nearly 70 years ago. Coca-Cola is part of what soda fountains are. But you won't see the shop's antique Coca-Cola signs atop the building anymore. I found the screwdrivers and the like wrenches and pliers just right there. They just left them. Somebody climbed to the top of the building and stole two of the three signs that were hanging here. We've been burglarized throughout the years and Normally it's for narcotics or drugs or money or something. And this is just one of those things where it's almost it's really personal. Laura LeBay showed me the store security footage. This is going to be our suspect right here. It's going to be a dark green SUV. It shows a man with a knife tucked into his pants. There's our guy right here. Breaking all of the store's cameras. The next night was when the signs worth thousands of dollars each were taken. This was well thought out and that's what is more scary to me. It's not just the sign, it's just that, okay, are we next? Austin police have opened a case, but LeBay knows that more violent crimes are prioritized. They're They've, so, so overwhelmed and there's so many other things that they're dealing with. So she's sharing this footage and warning other businesses in hopes no one else becomes a target. Especially around the holidays and COVID and everything, it's just, it's just really crushing to one's soul right now. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. And LeBay says those antique signs are very rare, so she's asking people to keep an eye out for them at pawn shops or other spots that they could be sold. She plans to offer a reward if anyone returns them to the store.